In this video, I'm going to go over how to get started with your digital planner in Zoto. There will also be timestamps below in case there's a specific section you want to jump right to. I'm first going to start by showing you how to import the planner into Zoto. You first want to click the download button beside your purchase and save the download to your files. I've already gone ahead and done that step. So I'm going to go ahead and open my files app here, and then you'll see the planner file. Now this is a zip file. With zip files, they do need to be unzipped so that you can access the planners inside. To do this, you can click that file and select the extract button here at the bottom right. Now it's automatically unzipping. We can now go ahead and click into the file and you'll see the planners in there. I'm first gonna click this planner and then it's gonna pop up and you can choose Zoto here. Now it's gonna automatically open up and import into the Zoto app. Okay, so next I'm gonna show you how to use the hyperlinks in Zoto. So you first wanna tap the screen to bring down the toolbar and then click this button here at the top right. And you wanna make sure it's on the arrow button here. When it's on this button, you can then click to navigate the planner. You can also zoom out or in whenever you would like as well. When you want to write something, you can come over to the pen tool and you can change the color by selecting the pen and you can have different colors that are easily accessible up there. You can change the thickness, the opacity, as well as the pressure. You can just tap to get out of that and then you can draw and then you can press the check mark here and that'll save. Now, if you wanted to erase what you did, you can select the eraser tool right here. And you could go over and erase your work. Now, if you ever wanted to highlight anything, you can select the highlighter button right here. And then you can highlight over your work. Next, I'm gonna show you how to change the planner cover. So you want to click the X button here out of the toolbar then you want to select the dots here at the bottom left corner. That's going to bring you to the overview section of the planner. Now the other covers are located at the end of the planner. So I'm just going to scroll all the way to the end to view the other cover options. And there they are. Next, you want to select edit. And then you can choose the cover you want to use. Once you do that, you can tap it and hold, and you wanna drag it to the top all the way to the first page of the planner. This can take a few moments, but you shouldn't have to do this too often. Okay, and then you can place it at the very first page. And now with the other cover that was there, you can go ahead and drag it back to the bottom in case you want to use it in the future, or you can delete it. Now you can delete any page within the planner. However, when you delete a page, it'll remove all the associated hyperlinks. So if you ever want that page back, you won't be able to bring it back. You would have to start with a fresh new planner template. But if you did want to go ahead and delete it, you would select the page you wanted to delete and press the trash can here and then it'll delete the page. Now you can also duplicate any pages within the planner. To duplicate the page, you can select the page, press the three dots here in the top right corner, and select duplicate. And there you go, it now went ahead and duplicated the page. So I'm next gonna show you how to import stickers into the planner. So I'm gonna press this arrow here to go back to the planner view. And I'm just going to tap anywhere on the page to bring down the toolbar. And we have the toolbar here. And you want to click this photo button here at the top. When you click that, you can then tap again on the planner. Select Files. 
and now you can navigate into your files app to find wherever you saved your stickers to. So mine, I believe, is in downloads. So I'm going to go to downloads and then select rainbow, rainbow again. Then I have my stickers folder here and there's all the stickers. So I'm going to go ahead and select a sheet and it's going to import that into the planner. Now you can tap the sheet and use the, air, the corners here to make it bigger. And now to crop a sticker, you can select the crop button here and you can drag the corners in until you have it around the sticker you'd like to add and then select crop again and there's your sticker. And you can resize it you can change the angle. You can tap the sticker to move it anywhere within your planner. So you can place that on a day. So that's how you can add stickers into your planner. Okay, so I believe that's all the basics of getting started with digital planning in Zoto. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to message me. I'm more than happy to help.